Good morning, cadets. I welcome you back for the computer science class. And we are moving to the under computer systems organization, the second chapter that is data representation. In my previous two classes, I have finished about the sys computer system overview. Now, let us discuss about the data representation chapter. Basically, this chapter deals with how the information or a data is stored inside the computer. That is what we are looking for. So, in under this uh, chapter, we will see introduction, which are the digital number systems in particular decimal, binary, octal and hexadecimal number system. After that, some <coughs> codes we will see ASCII, ISCII and Unicode, right? Now, <coughs> As a part of an introduction, what is exactly the number system is, right? Computers accept input and deliver output in the form of digital signals. A digital signal has only two states represented by two voltage levels, either high or low. For a computer to process numbers, it is important to be able to represent the numbers as digital signals only, because it understands only machine format. To achieve this, we need a number system that uses only two symbols to represent any number. The binary number system uses only two symbols that is 0 and 1 to represent any number and therefore provides a direct way of representing numbers in computers. Two other number systems are uh, in fact we can say other two number systems octal and hexadecimal also help to represent binary numbers concisely making it convenient to deal with large strings of zeros and ones. We are already know what is exactly the decimal number system because we are using it, we are familiar with it, but actually computer will understand the binary number system. Sometimes the sequence of zeros and ones will be huge, okay, to curtail that to represent in some other a shorter form, we take the help of octal as well as hexadecimal number systems, right. A number system is known by its radix or base. What do you mean by radix or a base? For example, a radix for decimal is 10, radix for binary is 2, etc. Right? That is what we call it as a, is known by its radix or it is also called base of a number system. The decimal number system uses 10 symbols and therefore has a radix or base is 10. The binary number system uses 2 symbols and therefore a radix is 2 understood. The radix of a number is usually written as a subscript with that number where the number is written within the parenthesis as shown in the following example. For example, I can read it as a 368 which is written in decimal number system that is why the sub here it is written as subscript 10. 10101 it is written in binary understood. That is how the number system is represented by indicating its radix or base. Now the digital number systems. In digital representation various number systems are used. The most common number systems used are the decimal, the binary, the octal and hexadecimal. Let us try to see one by one these numbers. Okay, What is a decimal number system? The decimal system uses 10 symbols, which are the 10 symbols? 0 to 9 and therefore has a radix or base 10, symbols are 0 to 9. Every digit in decimal number system is identified from its positional, that is also called as a positional number system. From right to left, not from left to right, from right to left. For example, how I can say the number 345 as a 345? Now, you can see the positional value, 5 is at unit place that is 10 raised to 0 and 4 is at 10's place 10 raised to 1 and 3 is at 100's place that is 10 square that is 100. Now, how we will calculate 3 into 10 square plus 4 into 10 raised to 1 plus 5 into 10 raised to 0. If we evaluate 3 into 100, 4 into 10, 5 into 1 as you know that anything raised to 0 will be 1. 300 plus 40 plus 5 makes you 345. That is how we will conclude the value of these symbols given in digits 
okay if any digits are written between 0 and 9 if you write any number using the digits from 0 to 9 then you conclude or you compute the value of that number by this powers of 10 from right to left leftmost digit will be msd is called as the most significant digit which one 3 uh, and the rightmost digit will be called as LST that is least significant digit. In this example, 3 is a most significant digit okay, and 5 is the least significant digit. This is what you have to know about a binary uh, num decimal number system. Then all sys number systems are following the same rule. Now, if I compare to the binary number system, you see now. The binary number system uses two symbols and therefore has an addix two symbols only 0 and 1 also known as bits or binary digits. Every bit in binary number system is identified from its once again position from right to left. Now suppose the digits are 1, 1, 0. Okay, this 0 is at 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to This one is a MSD most significant digit and this 0 is a LSD least significant digit. Now how we will compute the value? 1 into 2 square plus 1 into 2 raised to 1 plus 0 into 2 raised to 0. Okay. Now it is equivalent. What will come? 1 into 4 plus 1 into 2 plus 0 into 1 that is 4 plus 2 6. So 110 of binary is nothing but 6 of decimal. Once again le uh, leftmost digit is MSB bit will call. Now al already we are calling digit there most significant digit and least significant digit. Here most significant bit and least significant bit because uh, binary number session is represented by 0 or 1 they are also called as bits therefore in, in place of MSD it will be MSB in place of LSD it will be LSB the computation of the decimal value is exactly same in case of decimal number set 2 raised to uh, sorry 10 raised to power 0 1 2 like that and in case of binary base will be 2 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 and so on. Now what about the octal you see okay it uses 8 symbols and radix is 8 that is base is 8 and symbols are from 0 to 7 every bit in octal number system is identifiable once again its positional value from right to left exactly same suppose if there is a number given as 140 I cannot read it as a 140 because its decimal value is something different because this is written in octal so 8 raised to 0 8 raised to 1 8 raised to 2 1 into 8 square plus 4 into 8, 8 raised to 1 plus 0 into will give its decimal equivalent 64 into 1 8 into 4 1 into 0 64 plus 4 it was a 32 64 plus 32 will give you 96 that's how I can read 140 of octal is nothing but 96 of decimal right what is about the hexadecimal number system you see now the hexadecimal the hex number system uses 16 that is how hex means 6 decimal means 10 6 plus 10 16 it uses 16 symbols and therefore radix or base is 16 now which are the symbols 0 to 9 10 digits and alphabets a to f a b c d e f understood so 10 plus 6 more together 16 symbols 10 is represented as a 11 is represented as b 12 is c 13 is d 14 is e and 15 is f so 0 to 15 is basically 16 values okay uh, why the alphabets will come here means if i write 10 1 0 it is not a digit it is a combination of digits so that combination of digits is represented by an alphabet that's why a b c d e f every bit in hexadecimal number system is identified once again by its position from right to left suppose a number in hexadecimal given as a to b so b a to b 16 raised to 0 16 raised to 1 16 raised to 2 it means a into 16 square plus 2 into 16 raised to 1 plus b into 16 raised to 0 the decimal equivalent how it is computed 10 into 256 a means 10 10 into 256 2 into 16 plus b means 11 11 into 1 all together if you add it will give the value 2603 that's how i can read a to b of hexadecimal is 2603 of decimal 
Now let us come to the conversion parts. Initially we will do for integer conversions and afterwards we will go for fractional conversions. Now exactly you see here how we can convert a decimal to a binary. At times you need to convert a number from one number system to another. The distinct methods have been uh, defined for conversion between each pair of number systems. You can convert a decimal number to its binary form by using the method of successive division by 2. The radix of the binary number system is 2. Put the remainder to the right of the quotient and repeat this process till the quotient becomes 0. Okay? Uh, write down the remainders in reverse order to get equivalent binary number. Now, pictorial we will see what the method we are using. You can see here now 45 of decimal, okay, what is the value in binary? That is the question. What it says? 45, okay, 2 2 za, 2 2 za, remainder is 1, no down. Once again, 2 11 za, remainder is 0, 2 5 za, remainder is 1. 2 2 za, remainder is 1, 2 1 za, remainder is 0. Now, if you get 2 0 za, 0, remainder will be 1. So, this quotient should reach up to what? 0. You should continue go on dividing as long as you will reach us to 0. Now, all the remainders are noted here 1 0, 1, 1, 0, and here also remainder is. 1. If you want, you can start from here only, but better you start, uh, because while, while writing the programs, we should write up to a loop that is 0. Understood? If you can stop at 1 also, you can include that 1, or else you can reach up to 0, okay, and then you are. Now, the reverse order, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. You should not take it as 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, in a reverse order. This is your LSB, this will be your MSB. MSB means leftmost it appears and LSB means rightmost. Therefore, 101101 is in binary. If you write 45 in decimal, the conversion of binary is 101101. Similarly, you can do one or two examples on your own, right? See, examples are given. Note down this number. 79 you convert into binary. Similarly, 30 you convert into binary. If you want, you just you can go on divide 79 by 2 till you reaches 0. Note down the remainders in reverse order. Similarly, go on divide 30 by 2 till you reach 0. How we have done here? Similarly, exactly in the same way. Then note down the remainders in reverse order. That is a very simple conversion from decimal to binary. Now, binary to decimal, the reverse way. Okay? We have converted from decimal to binary. Now, if a binary number is given, how it will be? See, multiply each bit of binary number by its place values with the rest 2 raised to n, then add the result. Very simple. So, your given number is 10101101. That is in binary. How will convert into decimal now reverse way? See, these positional values are or a place values are multiplied by the 2 raised to 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay? What is the value of 2 raised to 7? 128 into 1. What is the value of 2 raised to 6? 64, the digit is 0. 2 raised to 5, 32 into 1. 2 raised to 4, 16 into 0. 2 raised to 3, 8 into 1. 2 raised to 2, 4 into 1. 2 raised to 1, 2 into 0. 2 raised to 0 is 1 into 1. Anything raised to 0 will be always 1. Go on adding these values. So, here it is 0, red whatever pattern we have shown because it is multiplied by zeros. Now, your values are 128, 32, 8, 4, 1. If you add all these things, okay, even you can add 0 also, but no, not required. Only the values you can add. So, answer is coming as 73. Very simple way of conversion reverse way of binary to decimal. You can do these exercises, triple 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 of binary you convert it into decimal. Similarly, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 of binary. Once again, you convert it into decimal just in the same way how we have shown here. Understood? Okay. Now, <coughs> uh, decimal to octal will go now. 
you can convert the decimal number to its octal form by using the method of successive division in case of binary by 2 in case of octal by 8 the radix of the octal number system 8 is radix put the remainder to the right of quotient and repeat this process till the quotient becomes 0 same procedure write down the remainders in reverse order to get the equivalent octal number you just see here uh, 93 of decimal what is the value in octal so go on divide by 93 by 8 when I divide 93 by 8 8 ones are then 8 ones are remainder will be 5 then 8 ones are remainder is 3 then 8 zeros are remainder is 1 read in reverse order that is 135 therefore I cannot call it as 135 what I should say now the 93 of decimal is equivalent to 135 of octal exactly in the same way how we did in binary there we divide it by 2 now here we have to divide it by 8 similarly you try to do this example 173 of decimal what is the value in octal similarly 243 of decimal what is the value in octal these two exercises you need to do now a reverse way octal to decimal remember when I say octal maximum digit that can be used in octal is 7 ok multiply each bit of the octal number by its place value 8 raised to n there we did 2 raised to n now we have to read 8 raised to n so 237 or in case 237 of octal what is the value in decimal you just see here 237 8 raised to 0 8 raised to 1 8 raised to 2 64 into 2 8 into 3 1 into 7 1 is 8 raised to 0 1 into 7 this is 128 plus 24 plus 7 if you add all things value will be 159 237 of octal is 159 of decimal now uh, we have seen now decimal to binary binary to decimal decimal to octal octal to decimal now we will see decimal to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to decimal once again we can convert a decimal number to its octal form by using the uh, method of successive division not octal here this is a copy and paste problem here it is what it is ok hexadecimal right this is what the correct one right now you can convert a decimal number to its hexadecimal form by using the method of successive division by 16 which is the radix of hexadecimal number system put the remainder to the right of the question and repeat this process till the quotient reaches 0 and write down the remainders in reverse order to get the equivalent hexadecimal number you can see here now the number in decimal is 178 what is the value in hexadecimal just what you can see here when you divide 178 by 16 16 ones are once again 16 ones are remainder is 2 now 16 zeros are 0 remainder is 11 so 11 is your MSD and 2 is your LSD and 11 equivalent alphabet in hexadecimal is B right 10 A is 10 B is 11 now you should write B2 instead of writing 11 and 2 you should write it as B2 so 178 of decimal its equivalent value in hexadecimal is B2 you people do these two examples 233 three, what is in hexadecimal 79 what is in hexadecimal 233 of decimal and 79 of decimal convert it into hexadecimal in the same way what we did what I have shown here right now the reverse way reverse way is what hexadecimal to hexadecimal to hexadecimal to ok that will hexadecimal hexadecimal to we have not converted ok hexadecimal to decimal if you want to do how we can do now Oi. now for example here it is not given just the same thing is the reverse back if you do now b2 if uh, hexadecimal what is the value in decimal what you have to do now yes 2 raised to 16 2 into 16 raised to 0 and b into 16 raised to 2 that will be 2 right isn't it 2 into 16 raised to 0 is 2 only and uh, b into 16 square 16 square is how much 164 
isn't it? Ah, no, sorry, sorry. Here it is 16 raised to 0, then 16 raised to 1 into 11. So 16 into 11. How much you will get? 176? Yes. 176 plus 2 will be 178. That is how the reverse way, how we did in case of octal as well as in binary. Now, <coughs> intermediate conversion. You can convert a system from one number to any other number. Octal to decimal, if I want to go back. Octal to decimal. Already I had done that octal to decimal. Mm, octal to decimal we have done here. Some more examples are there. Oh, here the mistake it is. It is not octal to decimal. It is it is octal to octal to hexadecimal. Remember, here is a mistake it is. Okay, it is a, a, a conversion from Okay, conversion from octal to hexadecimal or conversion from hexadecimal to decimal it is. Multiply each bit of the hexadecimal number by its place value, add them. If this is not octal, this must be hexadecimal. Now, hexadecimal number is given A to B, base 16 to the value base 10. So, A to B, 16 raised to 0, 16 raised to 1, 16 square, 256 into 10. 10 means A, 16 into 2 and 1 into 11. Anything raised to 0 is 1. 2560 plus 32 plus 11, it is once again 2603. So, this is the conversion from hexadecimal to decimal. It is not octal to decimal, it is hexadecimal to decimal. I wanted to correct that. It is not allowing, right? Uh, let me do here only why unnecessarily okay here what I will do now let me type conversion conversion hexadecimal to decimal okay hexadecimal to decimal let me make it white so visible uh, I will make all capital letters Okay, I will increase the size so that you can easily 28 make it bold this one I will remove because it is a wrong heading okay now I will keep this right now it is hexadecimal to decimal no, absolutely fine it is right next what is that x binary to octal okay what is binary to octal now here Okay, uh, as number of bits increases, there is a need arises of grouping of bits, right? If the sequence of zeros and ones is too large, then it is very very difficult to write and remember. We have to group. Octal numbers comprises of three bits, that is three binary bits are used to represent a octal number. Why only three? Because two raised to three is eight. Two raised to three is eight. That is basis. 8 understood therefore the grouping of three uh, three binary digits will give an octal number for example binary 0 0 0 is octal 0 0 0 1 is 1 0 1 0 is 2 0 1 1 is 3 1 0 0 is 4 1 0 1 is 5 1 1 0 is 6 and 1 1 1 is 7 that is the maximum digit in octal how the 7 is written if you see this binary value how 7 it will come 1 into 2 raised to 0 1 into 2 raised to 1 1 into 2 raised to 4 uh, 2 raised to 2 this is 4 plus 2 plus 1 that is your 7 similarly here 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 here 2 plus 1 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 0 1 plus 1 here 2 raised to 2 4 0 0 4 getting the idea that is how your octal numbers are represented a group of 3 3 binary digits. Now, let us, let us con, uh, convert very easily now octal to binary. See, 3 0 1 1, 5 1 0 1, 2 0 1 0. If you add all 3s, 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 0, it is easily gives you, uh, it is very easy to convert an octal into binary. This table is once again here. See, 3 represents 0 1 1. 5 represent 101 
and uh, 2 represent a 0 1 0 write all the digits together then it is an equivalent of binary equivalent of octal you also try these right now reverse way binary to octal it requires grouping of three bits from right hand side if last group is not consist of three bits then add zero to make it group of three bits now you just see here I have noted down this number 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 okay now I will start grouping from this end from right to left 1 1 0 is one group 1 1 0 is another group 0 1 0 is another group then only 1 1 is left but you can add 0 to the left that does not make any difference if you go back to the table 0 1 1 means 3 1 0 means 2 1 1 0 means 6 1 1 is once again 6 so 3 2 6 6 answer is 3 2 6 6 extra 0 is padded to make it group of 3 you should grouping start from right to left if all 3 groupings are available it is fine otherwise you can add 0 to the that is called as padding 0 is padded at the left that does not make any difference you can also try these groupings right in this example 1 2 3 4 grouping no problem here 1 2 see 1 2 3 4 5 here also no need of padding here so straight away I can tell you the answer here this is 7 this is 0 this is 7 this is 1 7 0 7 1 right what about this 5 2 5 2 5 5 2 5 2 5 okay 52,525 will be the answer for this grouping is very very easy okay I think we will stop at this point of time today uh, we will go for binary to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to the binary in my next class till then bye bye